All right, you guys, welcome back to Jew Division. Uh, all Jew Division subscribers, old and new, as well as wayward or rogue YouTube searchers, welcome to the show. I have a very special show planned for you today because, as you know, if you're a Jew Division subscriber already, uh, we here at Jew Division uh, pride ourselves in uh, decoding predictive programming. In other words, clues to terrible tragedies that have been. A hidden in art, architecture, print, and song in advance. So before that event ever even occurred, some artist or bard was hiding these secret details uh, in their work before these things even happened. Uh, and if you aren't privy to this type of thing, don't worry about it because it will explain itself as we decode Hotel California is pre-programming. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair, one such desert highway which would take you into Vegas is Route 91, after which the Route 91 Harvest Festival was named, and it was named after U.S. Route 91. The warm smell of Kalitas rising up through the air. Kalitas is a slang term in Mexico for the buds of the cannabis plant. And if you follow marijuana legislation, you know that on January 1st, 2017, the state of Nevada, uh, so Las Vegas, legalized colitis or cannabis nine months to the day before that terrible shooting on October 1st, 2017, uh, the exact same year. Up ahead in the distance, I saw a shimmering light. And if you were driving on U.S. Route 91, uh, as, as Vegas first appears in your windshield, it would truly look like a shimmering light. As you know, it is a city of lights. And my head grew heavy and my sight grew dim. I had to stop for the night. And if you did, Hotel Delano at first glance would seem as good as any, which is on the property of Mandalay Bay where that shooting took place. And that tower is placed just behind this golden tower with the same exact facade on Mandalay Bay. There she stood in the doorway. I heard the mission bell. If you watch uh, Judah Vision, you probably already knew where this was going because the Delano's advertising has her standing in the doorway. And the reason we know this is the doorway to Delano Tower is because these same rocks, for some reason, without a plaque or any inscription at all, sit right in the doorway through which one would walk as they walk in to Delano Tower. I heard the mission bell again if you watch Judah Vision. You already understand the pre-programming that Taco Bell put into this event and that mission bell certainly is a Taco Bell for in 2017 Taco Bell rolled out their Bell Illuminati uh, ad campaign. At the end of these commercials uh, you would see and these commercials showed all these secret, the secret society with lit candles under triangles, just like the, the pyramid on your dollar bill. And again, that was 2017. But the end of these ads uh, showed this. And this is a fancy little gift that I was, I was able to find on the Internet showing this dollar folding conveniently. And here's what the dollar looks like. And if you fold it up into that Taco Bell dollar, I'll give you a little bit of light here. It folds into this. And you'll soon find out what this terrible disgusting a piece of paper represents. It's a very old thing. And I was thinking to myself, this could be heaven or uh, this could be hell. Uh, we're going to let you decide at the end of this video uh, which this was. And then she lit up a candle and she showed me the way. Remarkably, she stood in this doorway and there's candles on either side of it. But perhaps the then she lit up the candles they were talking about would be this artist, Joe Russ, who designed, helped designed at least, uh, Delano Tower. This is a shot on her Facebook. I'm not even logged into Facebook, uh, so not violating any privacy here. Um, but this shows uh, that. And, and I want you to notice here, if you can see that, uh, she took this photo to commemorate um, her, her art exhibit there at Delano Tower, the one just behind the one which the gunman shot from. And she placed this on Facebook on October 1st, 2018, exactly one year later to commemorate this shooting. And again, the she there is J.K. Russ. And if you watch the show, you know that there's always a divine feminine, which is a forerunner to the sun god, 
And if she showed you the way, perhaps she showed you the way to the elevator lobby uh, through which you would ascend to the top of a tower. And unbelievably, these are bird people she painted on this installment. These are all different types of bird people. There's an eagle just like on your dollar bill. There's an owl just like in Bohemian Grove, on and on. But over here is Hathor. The, the forerunner to the sun god, a, a goddess, a divine feminine, and she holds in her hand a gully knife used for human sacrifice. And again, that was painted on the only one out of two uh, two exhibitions uh, or two, two art installments in this whole entire tower hotel lobby. Um, one of these bird people has a knife in their hand. And this is what first tipped me off uh, that there was something wrong here in this Delano Tower right behind the one from which the gunman shot. And this is Hathor, again, the forerunner to the sun god. And as you can see, uh, the artist used the exact same color palette. And this eye on this uh, Pellegrine Falcon uh, represents that eye of Amon Ra, which is a terrible thing uh, if you want to study that on your own or if you want to go back and watch some old Jew divisions. I would suggest to go through uh, the, the Vegas Exposed playlist, but all the videos that are gone have been omitted because of supposed privacy violations. Um, but I want you to notice that Taco Bell's little folded dollar is at the end of the corridor where uh, the fellows over at the Eagles thought they heard welcome to the Hotel California being said by these uh, fallen angels. And I want you to notice that this dollar folding dollar from Taco Bell matches this big stone altar perfectly. And if you look carefully at this, you'll see it's a great illusion. The artist here also did, I believe did artwork for the Ellen Show because he also does these big wooden balls and you see those on the Ellen Show. But look, it looks like this rug keeps going, but that's actually the metal base and these strings hold these rocks in place, but it matches this stone altar absolutely perfectly. Um, and as you can see over here, you can see that it's in a mirror image. You can see the reflection, which kind of gave this whole thing away from me. Three days after the shooting, uh, is, well, at first after the shooting, this Jesus Campos guy was the first guy on the scene, supposedly. He was the one supposedly shot in the leg by Stephen Paddock as he uh, tried to thwart the shooting. Uh, his name is Jesus, and it's strange that he was resurrected three days later to give that interview on The Ellen Show. Also strange was the first releases showed that there was 58, 59 people murdered, and then right before this guy surfaced, they said, well, we made a mistake, only 58 showing that Jesus was brought back to life. So we see some, some messianic uh, pre-programming in there, but moreover, what I wanna bring your attention to is this little thing over here, which again, is this thing, which matches the one, here's a little close up of it, and it matches the one, and again, this is the set of The Ellen Show, which again matches the the kind of wood and um, glass and the same kind of motif, which is this divine feminine. If you read up on her, it's kind of a pagan thing, and it, it goes back to nature and all this. And as you can see, if you read design magazines and different stuff like that, you see that the world right now is going back to this sort of... Um, nature uh, driven design for interior design and that is because of the prevalence prevalence of this divine feminine that has now spirit that has now entered our world but again this matches the taco bell folding dollar perfectly and this is in the corridor down the corridor of the halls uh, at Delano Tower the one just behind which all those people were shot her mind is Tiffany twisted Tiffany actually actually is a word similar to that. It was actually taken somehow, I don't understand how with the phonetics of it, but it means Mosul, Iraq, the place, M-O-S-U-L. And, and Mosul is, is a place from ancient Babylon where uh, human sacrifice was made. And to say her mind is Tiffany twisted could mean that uh, she's hung up on uh, sacrifice as in ancient Babylon. Now I want you to understand that this is J.K. Russ's own photography that she submitted to a uh, entity called LensScratch.com and as you can see it shows a stone altar with a victim on it with a large cat about to take a bite out of her and you can see the rose petals the white rose petals which are a sign of purity uh, for after a human sacrifice beforehand they would have thrown down red rose petals and again if 
you watch the show. Go back and watch the old earlier shows. It'll explain exactly how that works. She got the Mercedes Benz. Mercedes actually means mercies from the Spanish title of the Virgin Mary, Maria de las Mercedes, meaning Mary of mercies. And it's ultimately from the Latin word merces, meaning wages or rewards. So uh, somebody deserved something or uh, which in vulgar Latin acquired uh, Latin acquired the meaning of favor or pity. So this uh, this uh, Mercedes Benz, if you've ever studied the lyrics in Eagles, it's not B-E-N-Z as it would be the product name for the automobile. It's B-E-N-D-S, which would mean her mercies go back and forth from being nasty to nice. And believe it or not, this artist, J.K. Russ, as the Las Vegas Review Journal says, was not only responsible for this imagery of a human sacrifice of her photography, she was also responsible for Hearts for Vegas, which was an installment that she was uh, she was chosen to create um, from, believe it or not, from uh, postcards that were sent in, uh, that were sent in by children and stuff um, to, to, for the victims that were lost. But look at here, look at the big one. The big one is a dollar bill. The big one is a dollar bill, which is made up of all these little, let me give you a little light. The big one is a dollar bill that is made up of all these little retablos. And there's, there's what it folds up into. And if you look closely, all these little hearts fold up into this little retablos. And we're gonna figure out what that is as we go. Believe it or not, she was even paid. This art, art, this artist was the only commissioned artist who was paid for this this piece. Um, so she was here doing this as a good deed. And I want you to notice this also has glass because if you rewatch this, you'll understand what that's for. Where in which you could see your reflection when you stand here. So all these postcards were covered in glass. She got a lot of pretty pretty boys that she calls friends. So does J.K. Russ. Look at the Sin City sisters uh, who do performances. Uh, I believe this performance was at the Stratosphere, um, but they do these performances and that was called Project Nunway. But look who, it was J.K. Russ, who was the contributor, artist, and curator of that event. What's strange about that is, again, She's got a lot of pretty, pretty boys that she calls friends. How they dance in the courtyard, sweet summer sweat. Some dance to remember, some dance to forget. But look at this, this dude, and this is a sun like Amon Ra rising. And this particular pretty boy is wearing this around his neck, the same exact retablos. And as you can see, this is a king's court. Some dance in the courtyard, some dance to remember, some dance to forget. But I want to believe that they're dancing to, to forget. But I think most of these gals are dancing to remember. Because look here, uh, they were dancing on October 1st of 2016. Again, exactly one year before the shooting event. And look at some of these ladies. This one has the horns. Um, uh, but they're all in this sort of Vatican type of creepy attire, a Baphomet, on and on. But a year before, they were dancing uh, to remember what was coming. Unbelievable programming. And we're not through yet. Uh, look at these gals. Again, I think they were dancing to remember when you look at these. Look at that. Look at that powerful looking dude, dude dressed up like a woman, but a flying nun. Here, if you watch the show, you understand this bird programming, a bird cage head guy where there's a bird flying out of his head on and on. It's all here. So I called up the captain. Please bring me my wine. He said, we haven't had that spirit here uh, since 1969, which is certainly a shame. Uh, so, But perhaps you could enjoy a cocktail from the 40s at the Delano's Franklin Bar, which is uh, right next to this stone altar that I showed you, which matches this perfectly. Uh, but uh, I, they're, since they're fresh out of this champagne or this wine, uh, perhaps you could have a 
Mexican firing squad, which is what this drink is uh, called, tastelessly called, at the Delano's Franklin Lounge. Uh, and remember, all those people were, were killed basically in a firing squad. So this is terribly tasteless, you guys, because this was released on October 5th, 2017. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's not really in the imagery here. Let me move my iPad. I did this on an iPad so I wouldn't violate any copyrights and to make it easy to put these shows together for you because there's so much information that needs to come out. But again, four days after a shooting doesn't seem like a good time uh, to release a Mexican firing squad cocktail at a place where uh, 58 people and nearly who knows how many hundreds were were shot and their blood spilled there so absolutely a terrible call there or is it predictive programming um, but the following are probably the spirits to which the eagles are referring here according to a tale found in the 1001 arabian nights king solomon is known as a master of the jinn or demons is what jinn are and captures all the jinn or demons into a brass vessel and seals it with a magical symbol and casts the vessel out to the sea trapping the jinn whom he first summoned to build his temple this legend is the basis for the greater and lesser keys of solomon the lesser keys of solomon or the Gosha is a medieval magical text that claims to give the techniques and materials needed to embark on the mystical paths of Solomon. It gives directions for casting magic circles and invoking demons and dark jinn into the consciousness of the magician. Uh, here, like Solomon, the magician must unleash the demon from the brass vessel and symbolically slay the demon with a magical sword. But it, moreover, I want to I want to show you that uh, this uh, this this brass vessel in which they were trapped matches the demons were trapped matches the alibaba Ali story and you may think the aladdin and all this are just themed things at casinos but these are temples and it, I, I don't know if you can see this but this is alibaba lane which is right next to delano tower and again in that in that story uh, all these demons were trapped in this vase or whatever Welcome to the Hotel California, blah, blah, blah. Bring your alibis. Well, now you know uh, why these folks would need alibis. Um, because what they did is terribly creepy. And I'd like for you to see that one of the people said this mirror is magic. Um, if you watch the show, that means something to you. But she terribly needs an alibi um, if, if anybody was listening. Uh, and eventually they will because this will all come out. Um, but, but again, because she painted this knife in the hand of a deity in the elevator lobby. This elevator lobby. Mirrors on the ceiling. Believe it or not, right across, this is the Delano Bar, right over my head here where that TV is, where you want to might watch the big game. And these 13-foot scrying mirrors, scrying is a way to a peeping or, or seeing, they call it in the Bible, uh, to talk to the devil. And as you can see, there's candles set up in front of these mirrors, so you know uh, that's what they're there for. And the mirrors, as you can see, are pointed on the ceiling, just as in the lyrics of the song. For those of you, and so we're going to read from MidnightFreemasons.org here because they helped us understand what these mirrors are for. For those of you who simply wish to greet your shadow self and do some soul searching, I recommend you find a mirror and paint it with up to seven layers of black paint. Light some candles in a darkened room and gaze into the mirror without evoking the goetic demons. This is a form of meditation similar to Chitaka Yoga techniques and can be very beneficial for self-discovery or to just scare yourself the way kids have been doing while playing Bloody Mary for years. But I waited to show you this because this technique this guy is using is for Solomonic magic. And this paper altar matches it perfect. And the little, the little thing above it, this little triangle, is actually... A mirror and uh, the, the, the you're supposed to when summoning these demons and these four are for summoning them on the outsides um, and then one in the center and I believe again we believe Matt Cooper shot from the center of this but you'll learn who he is in a minute here the 
The pink sham champagne on ice, again, we're fresh out of that. Probably uh, you're just going to have to have a Mexican firing squad instead. And she said, we are all just prisoners here of our own device. Well, as you'll see here, prisoners is plural, so it's not just her. Uh, welcome, uh, meet her husband, J.K. Russ's husband. And this is a piece of his work in which I found... Uh, that he had painted the whole entire crime scene. But I'll show you that too. But here you see the divine feminine. And then later, uh, she's met by the sun god. And as you can see, he's got a sickle in his hand to represent this harvest. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a bunch of little red flowers here. And the the tower is named Delano Tower. And, and, and Roosevelt, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, means rose field. So he's actually mowing the rose field. And I believe we are those roses. Here's a creepy like image of a of a computer chip which could mean you know if, if you keep up with the the bible you know that probably means that's a way for them to keep track of us um, and again this is Math matthew cooper the artist as peasant and the knights templar always called themselves the poor uh templar because they acted like they were poor but they owned the whole world but as you can see this is a self-portrait of of the artist here in which uh he let's see here if i put that imagery an artist here which in which he he uh painted the pyramid which is missing from this side of the dollar bill look at that in here he painted this dollar bill a uh, pyramid which is missing from this dollar bill again that's his self-portrait letting you know that was him and believe it or not in this little retablo again above this retablos uh you can see that he actually painted the entire crime scene and this is what he's standing on is in a rug here. You can see he's crouched. There's a rifle in his hand. There's a muzzle. And there's a bunch of bullets. It looks like on top to indicate how many bullets he shot. But this is actually this painting. Look at this Mickey Mouse head. And these are the two ways you can identify it. That's that Mickey Mouse head. And that vignette is that. This is a picture of his own retablos painting, which is an altar. So he shot, he's showing that he shot from the altar. And this was made years, folks, uh, before the shooting had even occurred. Um, here again is that painting. Here is Brother Carol Poke Runyon in the Midnight Freemasons video before the dark mirror of the Goetic Demon. And as you can see, this little easel isn't for painting. This is for doing black magic. He's staring in a mirror. But I want you to notice that ain't a Mickey Mouse head. I, I looked at this painting so many times before I realized this. This is a baboon head with a Mickey Mouse head on. Uh, that's Thoth from Egyptian folklore. Uh, and you should look this stuff up, guys. It's scary, but you need to understand it. Again, this is satanic, Solomonic, black magic and there's a lot of people in on this as you can see you need to wake up and you need to absorb this information because it's true and it's real again that's that black mirror that you would stare into and i want you to see here how much so this is actually called a barbed quatrefoil a quatrefoil because there's four circles in it and so this is actually the whole setup for black magic that he painted look here's those four corners there's those four corners, the circles. And then again, he's got the mirror, the, the little mirror right there, the circle inside of that little triangle. He's doing black magic. He's talking to the devil. Uh, again, for those of you who simply wish to, to greet your shadow self and do some soul searching, I recommend you find a mirror. It tells you exactly how to do this stuff. Again, now it has candle wax, if you notice even closer, on the four corners of this retablos or altar. Look, that's what that is. I hate to be the one to break it to you. But here's a guy actually sitting in it, invoking a demon inside himself. And if he did shoot uh, from this altar, like it shows in his other painting, uh, I'm right about all this. Because again, there's the candle wax, and there's a guy doing uh, candle wax, and he's got his little black mirror. Any surface will do for the black mirror. And in the master's chambers, uh, they gathered for a feast. As you can see, he painted the exact crime scene in that painting. That is the suite from which the gunman shot. And that suite was 135, which is 5, 3, plus 1, which is 9, and that's 32. Shows an assemblance between the Knights Templar, because uh, it was uh, it was uh, the 32nd floor, and then that equals up to 9. They gathered for the feast. 
The hieroglyphs on the obelisk in front of this altar, which is a giant pyramid, it's the same thing. If you look at from the top, it's got four corners and then a point in the center. It's the same thing. It's a temple to the sun god. But on the obelisk that was right, this is where the people were shot, the paddock in which they were shot, describes a feast to the sun god. They stab it with their steely knives, but they just can't kill the beast. Again, here like Solomon, the magician must unleash the demon from the brass vessel and symbolically slay the demon with a magical sword, like the djinn trapped in the magic lamp. The demon may also grant the wishes and desires of the magician, but it's the test of fortitude for the magician to resist these temptations and expel the demon from his mind. This surely is a trick from Satan. Once you get that demon inside you, I guarantee you, your little plastic or metal sword ain't gonna, or, or knife is not gonna kill the demon. But I did a Google search for Goetia knives because the Goetia is where you'll read that from. And you can see that they use, and then you can see these little setups are identical, man. There's the little black mirror. Last thing I remember, I was running for the door. Again, I had to find a passage back to the place I was before. Relax said the nightman, we're programmed to receive. You can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. This one is self-explanatory, and because so many people were killed in cold blood, I'm just gonna let that one go. Again, you can check in anytime you want, but you can never leave the Delano Tower. And I'd like to point out, again, the Franklin Bar is in Delano Tower. Um, this was named, if you go to Wiki, it was named after Franklin Delano Roosevelt and this is the actual copy archive copy uh, proof copy that shows that he approved this pyramid going on the dollar bill which matches the view from the bar at the top of Franklin or Delano Tower perfectly look at that it even has the shadow on the same side this is the view from from the Delano Tower this was planned almost a hundred years ago believe it or not by Franklin Delano. There's no other way to explain this. And again, as I've told you, it's Skyfall Lounge. And in Revelation 9-1, Satan falls from the heavens to the sky or to the earth from the sky. The meaning behind the lighted capstone above the eye of providence has perplexed man through the ages. The Illuminati, this has been their, their symbol forever. But today we learn that it is simply a manifestation mirror used for Solomonic black magic. Look at this. Here's the triangle at the top. There's a manifestation mirror, and you can pause this and read a lot of the stuff that I put in there. You can even see the, the little glimmering in the pupil is almost identical in these two images, but that's what, that, that's what they were mixed up in. That's what got you in World War II. That's what got the Manhattan Project and the, the nuclear bomb, which was also made by FDR under his watch, um, on and on. And it was it, they, they came up with that idea, read Wiki, of dropping that uh, nuclear bomb. They came up for it uh, with it in a human sacrifice uh, uh, club called Bohemian Grove in California. And here's a little search I did, a quick search I did showing you more manifestation mirrors to, to show you. And the Illuminati uh, for forever has been this secret society that people believed hijacked the world. Again, you decide. This is the Bell Illuminati commercial again. And here is their imagery of the same thing the manifestation mirror that's on the $1 bill. Thanks for joining me for the decoding of Hotel California, written and performed by the Eagles. And special thanks to the Midnight Freemasons for making it so simple, uh, this scrying and this Solomonic black magic. They spelled it out for us perfectly. Um, I'll put a link in the comments when I get time so you can see that when they turn that off. And also thanks to Matt Cooper for putting so much imagery uh, in his paintings that it was terribly easy to track him down and his intentions. And look, here's him that says, me trying to get into the Freemasons Museum with my Las Vegas ring. And this is in Paris. I want you to remember about Notre Dame and all the things that have just happened and how, how the Eagles of Death Metal, that was the band that was playing when they killed all those people in Paris at that, at that concert. On and on, guys. He's from New Zealand. He's from New Zealand. That's all I'm going to say there. Subscribe to Judavision if you like this video. I know the production is weak and, 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 and the sound is weak and on and on, but I'm able to do these shows whenever I can, wherever I need to. And I thank you for watching them because it's all about the content here. Uh, you'll be hard-pressed to find this good of content anywhere. Um, 
to decode Taco Bell's folding dollar trick to understand what this means. It's very easy to understand. Um, just go watch my show, my, my video, uh, a series, Holy Blood, Holy Fail. But go to the playlist and watch it because it'll play automatically. Sometimes it doesn't work, just like notifications if you hit the bell might not work. I've had a lot of complaints on that. You gotta come back and look for this content, guys, because it's not easy to find for obvious reasons. Uh, then watch Mark of the Beast playlist again, and, and it'll play right in a row to understand what's really going on in your world. Uh, again, I'm Judah, the author of the best-selling Sacred Scroll of Seven Seals series. If you wanna know what's really going on in the opiate crisis, there it is. Uh, you guys gotta hurry up and get this stuff because it's gonna be harder and harder to get. Truth will be harder and harder to find. Anyone who's doing what I'm doing understands uh, that this is getting terribly hard to tell the truth. But to learn about your, this changing world, here's another Matt Cooper painting to just to, to shore this whole thing up. Uh, again, join Judah Vision. Thanks again for joining the show, and God bless.